is called a cell for the biggest animals, so like bill and lamb, that is called a rat for the rabbit, R A B A B. So a rat de lapin is this one. So what we have to do here is take the last wheel, so you go with your finger, find the last wheel, cut around, make an incision. Second side, same thing, find the last wheel. Go around, cut all the meat, and the bones of the rabbit are very easy to break down. So if you want to be very careful and just one cut, you have a saddle. I know we have to take the back of the rabbit where you have the two shoulder blade. I don't need them for now. Here. And I have the rabbit. <laughs> Are you still with me? Yes, 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 chef. Chef. Sure. Yes, chef. So, last week was 14th of July. What happened on the 14th of July? Fasting day. Remember the other day? <laughs> we have no more things, so we have to do it on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So I open the cuff, okay? And what you do now is cut close on the spine. Uh, this piece, most of the time people don't use it, or if they put them in the stew, uh, customer look at it, it's not of bone, not very attractive. If you make a bit extra work, you will be able to get the best part of that and it's easy to eat for the customer. So you can make two incisions if you want to start and after that you should cut. And you see I use my scissor. It's not faster and not easier than a knife. Maybe it doesn't look very impressive for the other chef and you don't care. Okay, if that's you have to make a show, you have to be efficient. I can tell you, I can cut more rabbit with my scissors without breaking any bones, and a particular bones, and anybody can do with a knife. So, that's one of the first things I learned from my old chef. You don't have to make a shot. Be efficient, go fast, and if you can get a break, take a break. <laughs> you laugh, but that was one of the big lessons I get from my first time in the kitchen. You no, know, we work from, I think we start at 8 o'clock, stop at 2 to 30 come back at 5 until 11. So we had this break between 2.30 and 5. And it's, it was in the summer, and one day we finished at 2.30, and all the, the commie was talking at the outside of the kitchen at the door. And it's all shared. He was 75 years old at the time I was 15. We come back from his tour, look at us, say, you have nothing to do, guys? Go back in the kitchen, clean the copper. So from 2 to 5, we clean, clean all the copper pots from the kitchen. And when he come back at 5, he said, I know it's time to go back to work. And we look at him and say, but chef, the next time you have a break, you go out of the kitchen far away. <laughs> because you have to change your mind. He knows we're going to be working 12 hours a day, 6, 7 days a week, for the next two, uh, it's 3 months, 2 months out. So imagine 4, 8, 10, 12 weeks. And you know, if we don't have a break or we need to have a break, we're never going to finish. So I learned from that, like, work fast. And when you go and go out, go out. The right, and if I want to make my 16 piece, I cut my right in two. Same thing for that. By cutting the top, first one, it looks nicer, but also it's easier to eat for the customer. So we have a piece, we look a lot nicer. Here, and you have your four piece here. Okay? For the back legs, after the back of the rabbit, you have the bones here, and that's a very small piece. If you get the joint, it's a very small piece. And that's a big piece. So to make sure everybody has the same amount of meat, or the same amount of meat, what we do is make a small incision here, so we know where 